Thank you. Uh, it's, it's not a dirt file, but I will make the observation before I, I, I go around the, uh, the couch. Is that in, in Victoria, there are already, barely a day goes by that there's not speculation in the newspapers and radio and television about Ted Bailey's leadership. And it seems like only yesterday that he won this unlikely victory at the state election. It just shows you that, I don't know, for these days, for whatever reason, leaders are more disposable than ever, I think. Yeah, everything seems to just happen at a, at a faster pace. Yep. Uh, my observation is just a sort of a prediction that, um, you know, we've talked about Christian Porter and Richard Torbay, for example, entering the federal parliament. I think there'll probably be a slew of uh, high-profile departures between now and when the election's announced, and probably some of those could happen this winter. OK, right. Uh, Tony Abbott will be hard-pushed to endorse business calls to increase the CPI by 4% by extending the GST onto everything, including food, school fees, etc. Uh, that 4% is almost six times as high as the impact of the carbon tax on uh, the CPI, a tax he calls a great big tax on everything. Mm, OK, I don't think uh, it'll happen. <laughs> and, uh, my observation is that uh, Tasmanians should be quite delighted that uh, Andrew Wilkie uh, had that deal scrapped with Julie Gillard over the pokies machine because this week he managed to squeeze another $325 million out of the feds for a Tasmanian health rescue package. So it sounds like a, a Wilkie rescue package has, <laughs> has served them well. Despite what Richard Torbay says, I think Andrew Wilkie's making a, a bold effort to be the one independent left in the, in the parliament after the next election. Well, that's the program. We'll leave you now with a few parting shots from former Greens leader Bob Brown, whose Senate, uh, Senate term officially ended this week. Thanks for watching. Bye.